All right, so in this problem, I have 9 to the power of 9 divided by 9 to the power of 9 divided by 9 to the power of 9 divided by 9 to the power of 9. So what I'm first going to do is I'm going to simplify this in parts. So let's first simplify 9 to the power of 9 divided by 9 to the power of 9. Well, 9 to the power of 9 divided by 9 to the power of 9, that's simply just 9 to the power of 9 over 9 to the power of 9. So I have this divided by 9 to the power of 9 divided by 9 to the power of 9. Now, remember, we, we have to go in order because, remember, PEMDAS, we would have to go in order. So we can't just simply switch these out. We can't just do this divided by these two. We have to go in order. So what comes first is 9 to the power of 9, 9, to the power of 9 divided by 9 to the power of 9. So anything divided by itself is 1, so these two cancel out. And I'll be left with 1 divided by 9 to the power of 9 divided by 9 to the power of 9. Now again, you would have to go in order now. So now we're going to do 1 divided by 9 to the power of 9. So 1 divided by 9 to the power of 9. This is equal to 1 over 9 to the power of 9. Now I have this divided by 9 to the power of 9. Now, if I have something in the form 1 over a to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of negative n. So 1 over 9 to the power of 9, that's going to equal 9 to the power of negative 9. Now I have this divided by 9 to the power of 9. So now, let me clear out this page. I have 9 to the power of negative 9 divided by 9 to the power of 9. Now, this is the same thing as 9 to the power of negative 9 over 9 to the power of 9. And now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So in this case, 9 to the power of negative 9 over 9 to the power of 9. This is going to equal 9 to the power of negative 9 minus 9. And negative 9 minus 9, that's simply equal to negative 18. So now I have 9 to the power of negative 18, which is equal to, well, 9, this is the same thing as 3 squared. So I have 3 squared to the power of negative 18. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So three to the power of two to the power of negative 18, this can equal three to the power of two times negative 18. And two times negative 18 is negative 36, so I have three to the power of negative 36, which is equal to one over three to the power of positive 36. So this is my answer. All right, so in this problem, I have 6 divided by 2 times 1 plus 2. And this is actually a very simple algebraic problem that many people actually get wrong. So to solve this, what I'm going to use is PEMDAS. PEMDAS. So the P here, this stands for parentheses. The E stands for exponents. The M stands for multiplication, the D stands for division, the A stands for subtraction, and the S, I'm sorry, the A stands for addition, and the S stands for subtraction. So we have to go in a certain order. So what we first start with, we start at the top, and we first look for parentheses. So if something is in parentheses, we solve that first. Well, as you can see here, 1 plus 2, this is in parentheses. So 1 plus 2, that's equal to 3. So now I have 6 divided by 2 times 3. And 2 times 3, this is written like this. Next, well, again, now, we again look for parentheses. There are none. So now we go down. We go down to exponents. Are there any exponents here? No, there aren't. So now we're going to go down to multiplication. And... For multiplication and division, although it's written like this, these two are actually in the same box. And same goes with addition and subtraction. 
So whichever one out of these two comes first, multiplication or division, that's the one that you're going to start with. So right here, as you can see, going from left to right, we have division, meaning we're going to go, we're going to use that first. So now I have six divided by two, which is equal to three. So now I have three times three. And now all we have left is multiplication. Three times three is nine. So nine here would be our answer. Now, what people used to do to get the wrong answer, actually, is this was actually during the 1900s. What they would do is they would first go, they would use the right method. They would first start by adding 1 plus 2 in the parentheses. So this would be equal to 6 divided by 2 times 3. But now, instead of divide, doing 6 divided by 2, they would do 6 over 2 times 3. And 2 times 3 is 6, so they get 6 over 6, which is equal to 1. And this is actually the wrong method because, as we know, we do, between multiplication and division, we do whichever one comes first. So in this case, division comes first, so we would do that before the multiplication. So that's how you solve this problem. All right, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of 18 minus 16. So to solve this, what I'm first going to do is I'm going to rewrite 2 to the power of 18 as 2 to the power of 9 times 2, because 18 is equal to 9 times 2. So now I have 2 to the power of 9 times 2 minus 16. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So in this case, 2 to the power of 9 times 2, I can write as 2 to the power of 9 to the power of 2. Now I have this minus 16, I'm going to write as 4 to the power of 2. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So let me just clear this up real quick. I have 2 to the power of 9 to the power of 2 minus 4 to the power of 2. And remember, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. In this case, a is 2 to the power of 9 and b is 4. So this is going to equal 2 to the power of 9 plus 4 times 2 to the power of 9 minus 4. Now, 2 to the power of 9 is equal to 512. So now I have 512 plus 4 times 512 minus 4. 512 plus 4 is 516 times 512 minus 4 is 508. So I have 516 times 508. So now to solve this, 516, I'm going to rewrite as 500 plus 16. And 508, I'm going to rewrite as 500 plus 8. So now to solve this, I'm going to distribute the 500 and the 16. 500 times 500 is going to be 250,000. 16 times 500, that's going to be 8,000. 500 times 8, that's going to be 4,000. And 16 times 8, that is going to be 128. So, now to simplify this, 8,000 plus 4,000 is 12,000, 12,000 plus 128 is 12,128, and 250,000 plus 12,128 is 262,128. So, this is my answer.